this vlog is kind of getting a late start on this Sunday. I had the baby shower yesterday and then I've been running around to thrift stores with my mom before she flew out today. I also showed up at the store that you can see right here <laughs> because I had a few manufacturer coupons and buy my baby coupons that expire in a couple days so I had to use those. And then I also used a bunch of Target coupons which was great. Saved a lot of money like 70 bucks on an order. So that, I, like I said, really like that. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get another clip in because I'm headed home and I'm probably about to crash. So I'll try and see if I can film some kind of haul about like the thrift stores and other stores that we went to today, but I can't promise anything. You totally can't see anything right now, but I just woke up. Puppy's over there. She's whining because she can't go outside while Isaac is taking out the trash. And then I'm about to go sort and untag all the clothes we just got at the thrift shop. I'm kind of excited because I got some really good finds yesterday. So, slight change of plans. I'm not doing any sorting of clothes yet because I'm meeting up with my aunt who's visiting in Phoenix. But I just wanted to show you guys how amazing this hotel is that they're staying at. I mean, look at how fancy everything is. And they've got some, like, sports thing going on. And, like, a huge waterfall. Never been in here in my life because it's not the kind of money that I make. <laughs> Okay, both of you come in here. Come here, come on. Come in. But as you saw in that last clip, I just had the stupid German Shepherd over again. <laughs> hmm. I'm not gonna call him this time, but if the German Shepherd gets over again anytime soon, it's another animal control call because I really cannot have the German Shepherd over here, especially if we're going to have a baby. So, that's just not okay to me. It takes a lot for me to get worked up and to actually stand up for myself because I'm kind of a doormat. But at this point, I am over it and this needs to stop. I thought it stopped because it was a solid like week, week and a half that the dog didn't come over. And now we're back to square one. Morning, guys. Now I'm back to somewhat of a regular schedule since my family's gone and I got most of the baby stuff kind of organized and all set. I'll show you a little bit that's in the kitchen right now. We got bibs, warmer baby stuff, formula, stuff like that. We got a bunch of leftover party food. <laughs> it's going to take me like 8 billion years to eat that. And then I got a list of thank you notes to write. But overall, still a great weekend. My in-laws did get us a ball pit, <laughs> so that's pretty exciting. I'm not excited to have to clean those up around the house, but maybe we can teach Pepper to clean them up and put them back in the thing, so <laughs> that could be fun. We got diaper changing area set up, with some paperwork that's super exciting, all the baby stuff, top drawer. Baby stuff takes forever to wash. I'm glad I'm not gonna ever like wash it all at once because <laughs> that's a lot of work. You can also hear the Air Force Base planes in the background right now. I'm gonna meet up with some friends today and then I might work on the vlog. I'm not sure from last week, we'll see. Right now I have enough energy and motivation to do stuff, but we'll see how long that lasts. You gonna help me do my work this morning? No, maybe. You're just gonna look cute. Okay, I can deal with you looking cute. Just finished up having a really nice brunch and hang out with two friends. We ate at IHOP, which was very fancy, as usual. <laughs> um, still cloudy outside, as you can kind of see. But I think I'm going to go try and go to one of the thrift shops that I haven't been to. <clears throat> My mom and I went, like, way out to the one that's not by our house. Well more than one, two of them that are not by my house. And there's two that are like, not super close, but like not too far away that I can't go to them. It is gonna take me a little bit to drive there just because Phoenix is so far away, everything is so far away. But if I can get some good deals, it'll be worth it. We have enough newborn and zero to three stuff, but I was gonna look at like nine months, 10 or 10 months, 
that's not a size nine and 12 month type stuff oh that car is getting really close because it's parking so yeah gonna do that and then we'll see what we find Save that kitty sneak peek of this great score that I just found I have the matching play mat that I also got from a thrift store and Nemo is like the Disney character that I love so much <laughs> at least for this baby so I also got some other stuff we'll see if I can fill my haul when I get home but I also said that yesterday so we'll see if it happens or not no don't drink mine that's not that's not your that's mine we stopped for a late birthday puppuccino because it was someone's birthday yesterday and we weren't outside really doing stuff, so we couldn't do that. But I also tried, I decided to try the new pineapple matcha drink, although it looked green in the picture. So I guess I'll let you know how it tastes. And then this is, was my free drink for honestly using my Starbucks card to buy Starbucks for the teachers that I work with, so. <laughs> but I also got a water stuck over there because I don't have enough cup holders. You always gotta hydrate, especially in Arizona. All right, let's see how this one tastes. Pepper wants to try it too. <laughs> Pepper, what do you think? Let's see how this tastes. Very pineapple-y. I think they gave me the pineapple ginger one. I don't know if I like the spice. I'm probably not gonna drink this in all honesty. Not the biggest fan. Maybe eventually I'll try the pineapple matcha one. But I'm going to say not a fan of the pineapple ginger thing. Sorry if you're a fan. I'm just, it's just not mine. <laughs> so since I was sitting in the parking lot of Starbucks recording that last clip, I decided to just go through the drive through and tell them that they gave me the wrong drink, which is nice because they gave me the right drink this time. So let's try the right drink for reals. Not bad. I can taste the pineapple. Matcha's there too. I have been accused of having weird taste buds because I can't smell. So, in all honesty, if I ever review food on here, take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> um, right now, I'm at Target. You can kind of see it through there. I have one coupon that I still haven't used because I haven't found the right product for it. It's Lansano um, washable nursing pads, but I've tried two different targets already, both of them super targets, and I still haven't found the right product for that. So maybe this super target will have it. I figured I'd check it out since I was a little bit away from home today. I feel like Target always has the cutest St. Patrick's Day stuff. And I also definitely bought that flag last year for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, you need to look at these cute little dino planters. I'm not going to get one, but the Target Dollar Spot always has the best stuff. Also, look at it. It's a cute little pterodactyl hanger. I swear there's something else I was supposed to get at Target, but I really don't remember now. So, I bet you I'm going to remember as soon as I walk outside of Target stores. I gave in and got a hand basket. I don't know why I thought I was only leaving here with the smart, or the washable pad things. <laughs> I almost thought they didn't have it, but there it is. I can finally start going to random targets. Pepper, are you gonna drive the car for me? <laughs> All right, now that we finally found what I was looking for at Target, we don't have to go to a couple other targets, but that also means that I have about either one or two hours to kill, because I put in a Walmart order for this afternoon slash evening. So I gotta go pick that up. Little Miss and I are doing one of the stores, so she's Got all her stuff off. We give her scratches where the collar is because we like that. Um, it's still raining a little bit, which is means there's going to be a lot of traffic in Phoenix. So maybe it'll take long enough for me to get back to where I ordered the Walmart groceries because of all the rain and like driving around. So by the time I actually get there, it'll be ready. Who knows? We made it to the pickup perfectly timed to get our groceries, which is great. After I get groceries, I'm going to take off all the tags and everything, wash the clothes that I just got. Oh, also, I put the mirror in the car. Right now it's kind of slipping down because the middle headrest is obviously, as you can tell, smaller than the other two. So I'm going to try and adjust that and then see what's going on with it. 
I'm on the fence about putting the base in now or waiting because I still occasionally take people in this car, although that's very rare. Like this weekend, I had all my family here, so I took them in the car and I needed all those seats. But then if I put it in the middle seat, I usually only take like one or two other people anyway. So I might do that today too. We'll see. Here's a little haul of what I just got from the thrift store. Feet, some Amazon deliveries. Heard this is good for stains on the go. And then I also got another car seat base for Isaac's mom. This was from Target, which you just saw me get. Finally found it after like, literally I went to three different Super Targets. I have a regular Target. Super Targets, and it took me that long. I also got this to store pacifiers in so they don't get all dusty while we're not using them. On to the actual thrift store stuff. There's a bunch of clothes. I'll do that in a second. We got VeggieTales, Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. We're starting our VeggieTales collection because I remember watching this as a kid and my husband did as well. We got some attachments for the drying rack over there. This one, the lady actually threw in for free, which is really nice because I just got those two packs. It was a one pack with two items is what I was trying to say. Then we got drying rack here. Those are shelves. <clears throat> Then we got a cute little Nike outfit. We got a swim shirt. Onesie with a dyno. Regular onesie. I love the pockets. Literally, if it has a pocket, I'm really likely to get it, honestly. We got some stripes going on. This one says tiny but awesome. Handsome like daddy. Regular Nike. Stripes. Stripes. Daddy's team captain. Gentleman in training. Department of Handsome. We got another dino. I'm out of this world with some planets that you can kind of see there. We got a super nice Under Armour. This is like athletic fabric. And then another Stripes. I also got these super cute Disney muslin blankets. These were on Amazon and I was gonna buy them when I got the completion discount, but then these weren't eligible anymore. So, I bought them early. That's one thing about the completion discount. You can only have it like a month before your due date. So if you're like extremely into planning like I am, then you're just sitting here twiddling your thumbs to get the extra stuff that you didn't get from your baby. Leftover baby shower food for dinner. Miss Pepper's taking a nap over there. And then this is probably gonna be my last update because I'm about to run out of steam and go to sleep. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning guys. I'm up again early because Isaac left for an event in school this morning. And because that's just what I'm waking up at right now. <laughs> right now I'm just surfing the internet, checking on the socials, stuff like that. I might get up soon or I might get working on the computer stuff that I have to do this morning. We'll see. Still here just chilling. Three hours later. <laughs> Been working on a lot of different things. One of which is getting the official registered domain for the blog and everything. You can see it right there. Well, it's just a regular blog. That's the links page. It has like Etsy and stuff on there. I will admit registering your own domain name is not always worth it. I think I really need to make like a blog post or something about that. So we'll see if that comes up in the future. Currently I own two domains. Possibly three. No, I think it's two. I have one for my design business. And I just registered the one for the family blog. The German Chipper came back again. Second time in two days. So now we're going to have another call to animal control and see what exactly I can do about it. Part of the reason why I keep calling animal control and not going to talk to them again is I don't feel super safe going over there alone. Um, and we have talked to them before, so it's not like animal control was our first step. But I'll let you know what they say. That also means that I had to actually get out of my pajamas and be responsible and presentable because they might send animal control officers over again. So, guess we'll find out what happens. Update on the dog. Animal control, I guess the officer that I spoke with last time just called me to 
determine things, so we'll see if they come over sometime soon. I've just been working on budgeting and stuff, which I'm now budgeting just for single income once I'm off from baby, and it's a little bit depressing, not gonna lie. My drive up order is ready at Target, so I have to go pick that up and possibly go run one or two other errands today, because I did most of them yesterday, which is great. But I also don't want to leave in case the animal control guy comes. So I'm going to check how long ago that they called. And then if it's over like two hours, I think I'm safe. And then I'll go, maybe, possibly. I'm getting ready to go because I don't think the animal control guy is coming. So I'm going to go to Target to pick up a gift for a friend that's having a baby. And then... I'm kind of running out of steam for sitting around working on the internet right now. So I'm going to try and organize some clothes, maybe work on fixing the binding of Baby J's baby blanket that I've made for him. Just picked up the registry gift. Now it's time to go home and package it up along with everything else I'm sending her. Now I'm in Walmart to pick up some batteries and then also work on the Shopkick app. I'm gonna do a blog post about like money saving apps and stuff like that, so I'll let you know how that goes on the blog post. Thank you. So I actually ended up stopping by the baby section and they have some good deals on fitted sheets and play yard sheets. So I picked some of those up so they're cheaper than my Amazon registry. Now you can get some good deals at Walmart, but also one thing to pay attention to is even if it's on a rollback, it might not be cheaper. Like this manual breast pump from Lansano, 22 something on Amazon, even though Walmart says it's cheaper. Sometimes you can save some money though, because this is five bucks on Amazon, these bath letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick those up instead of the hand pump. This one's a super good deal, because it's nine something on Amazon. Exact same product, two dollars cheaper, three dollars. I can't even, I can't math, guys. <laughs> this one with the same brand on Amazon, really not that much cheaper. It's only like 50 cents, but it's still something. I'm slightly shocked, but Walmart actually has corned beef brisket, which means I don't have to go to another store later this week. Score. All right, now it's time to chill for a little bit and regain my breath and everything from standing up for so long. You might have questions about like me driving and stuff like that with my health problems. It's actually not as bad as it might seem because what really causes problems for me is standing up and walking around. So sitting and driving, not that bad as long as I don't come into it in the middle of an episode. Pepper's not alerting me. So we're good on that. And then I'm kind of price matching some things at Target right now to see if it's worth going there. Um, I spent more than I was in planning to at Walmart, but not more than I was intending to. Because you saw when I was comparing on the clips Amazon to Walmart. Yeah, maybe I only spent or uh, saved $10 overall by buying this on Walmart instead of Amazon. But $10 goes a long way, especially after I redid the budget and everything this morning. And it's just reminding me, like, it's going to be really, really tight, at least for the summer, um, before I can either go back to subbing or do something like that so I can bring in more money for us. It's also raining right now, which is really nice to watch and listen to. Pepper's just chilling on my arm right here. She got a nice headrest. All right, diaper bag got here, so consider this a little mini unboxing. I have not looked at it much besides taking off all the wrapping items. So I ended up getting the Jujube diaper bag. I think this is like Rose something or other. I don't remember. I will link it below. But first things first. Oh, there's a little, there's a little thing here. What is, what is this? Just a little info card, I guess, for... Oh, I know what I can put in there. I have an emergency information card that you can't see because it has personal information on it. Please hold one moment. Just kidding. It's too long to put in there. So I'm going to make a smaller one, and then it's going to go in that spot. But, point being, you can put an ID card in there. And then this is kind of like a thin-looking pocket. Let's see. Can you see in there? 
I see like this is my hand. And it like expands a little bit on the top there, but then it narrows down. So I'm gonna guess papers and stuff would be best in there. It's got a snap closure right here. Then the next pocket in is this one right here where we have key clip. Oh, this looks like a sunglasses holder. That's good, I'm always losing mine. A little mini pocket, a larger mesh pocket at the bottom, and then there's the front in front of the pocket. This looks like the mom section, so I already have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna see if I can pare it down to fit it in here. Although, if we're gonna be honest, Pepper has a lot of stuff, so that's half of what's in my bag right now already, anyway. <laughs> then we have a little tiny pocket right here, maybe for a phone because it has a, like a nice cloth lining so it doesn't get all scratched up. There is two pockets, one on each side. I have a one liter water bottle, which I'm not sure if it'll fit in here, it might, but we'll have to take a look at that. Let's see, let's try one of these bottles for funsies. I got two different ones. Regular Dr. Browns, which for sure will fit. Yep, definitely fits. And then let's see about the other one. still fits. It's kind of short though, so like I probably wouldn't carry these on the sides. At least the little short ones for when he's a baby baby because they're just going to fall over. Also, if you hear this in the background, this is a countertop dishwasher that we're testing out to see if that's what we want. Back to the diaper bag. Now we have the main pocket open this guy up and this one folds all the way out which is really nice this has looks like a flat mesh area on this side probably good for like ice packs and stuff like that then we got this whole huge section right here we got some elastic containers I'm gonna guess wipes is what's meant to go there and then you can go underneath the flap. And there's this mesh part right here. And then obviously all this space. On the top here, looks like we have another little pouch right there. Don't really know what you would put in there, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. <clears throat> we have two D-rings here. I have some mommy clips that are gonna eventually be on their way when I get my Amazon discount. So I'm gonna put those there. And then I know, yep, this is the little changing pad that this diaper comes with. So that's super nice. And then the back has nice padding. Straps are padded too. Got a long adjustable strap. Is that all the pockets? Maybe, possibly. After I get around to playing around with it, and then I might try and fill it up tomorrow, but when I've used it for a little bit, I'll give a better review more than just my first impressions. But so far I really like how many different compartments there are because I am a person that really likes to compartmentalize. I don't use a lot of like big empty bags with like one or maybe two pockets in all of them by total just because everything gets all disorganized and then it bugs me a lot. This is probably gonna be the last clip of the night because I am about to go to sleep, but I will see you guys in the morning. Morning guys, it's another rainy day in Phoenix. Oh, I got a nice little poof going on there. Um, I think the dishwasher actually might work out, possibly, if I can get the right soap for it. So.
So I'm running the second collection of items through it this morning. And then I'm also gonna fill up, I'm pointing, how, there we go. That's the direction that I'm gonna point. I'm gonna fill up the diaper bag this morning as well with what I have. I don't have everything that I'm gonna put in it yet, but I have some of the stuff. This little puppy really, really wants to go outside. She really wants to go outside. But I don't want to clean up the puppy after all the water out there. So she's not going to go outside yet. I got like half of the stuff in there. Not that it's full at all. But now it's just a matter of waiting until I get what I'm missing. Or until it gets closer. made some new Instagram covers then I updated the budget and then was working on some expense tracking for my small business just package up some orders now I'm gonna make a few more binky clips with these two ribbons for my friend that's having a baby as well finished making the pacifier clips and everything for my friend's gift the packages that I usually send out some shop stuff in aren't big enough so I guess I'm gonna have to use one of the boxes at USPS to send everything. Otherwise, I'm kind of just waiting. We had a gift card to AMC, so tonight we're going to go see Onward, the new Pixar movie. Kind of excited about that. And then right now I'm working on a video that I need to make for the announcements for school, so I don't have to do that and it's not hanging over my head anymore. Just got an Arizona spam call this time, which is surprising because normally because my phone number is listed not in Arizona, I get phone calls from other states, so, which is how I can tell they're spam. But this, apparently, they really wanted to buy our house, so we're not moving out from anytime soon, unless, you know, some extenuating circumstances happen. But the downside of having a Google voice number that is connected to my actual phone number is that I have to answer pretty much every call, just in case it's actually a client or anyone that wants to get in contact with me, so... Someone's dad taught her to play with hands when she was a puppy. So she likes to gum them and play chase. <laughs> she was doing this with my sister's kid this weekend, but she realized that it, um, it was a baby. So she did good about just like barely touching him. She looks so mean and vicious right now, but there's literally zero. Oh, there's the kisses. There's literally like zero marks on my hand. Otherwise I would have had <laughs> teeth scars all over my arm by now. From tug of hand to tug of war. Featuring a penguin that only has one flipper left. Isn't that right, little miss? One flipper, one flipper. We're back at Target to get actual dishwashing detergent. And I'm also gonna check out the baby section because I forgot that I had a gift card for Target. There's not much left in the registry that's not cheap right Amazon. So we got the dish soap, we got a swaddle because it was on sale, and it was cheaper than what Amazon's sale would be with a completion discount. And then we got some dream bones for little Miss Pepper over there. Now we're off to dinner with the in-laws. We're going to Buffalo Wild Wings, and then we're going to go see Onward, which is pretty exciting. Morning, guys. It is Friday. Feels like this has been a long week, but I've also gotten a lot done, which is really nice. Right now, I'm kind of interested to see if my school's actually going to close. Because there's a couple different school districts around Arizona that have been closed so far. So, I'm kind of just keeping an eye on that. This morning, I'm putting a lot, or not a lot, I suppose the rest of the baby dishes through dishwasher finishing up some laundry, and then I have to take the glucose test at about lunchtime, which sucks <laughs> because I can't eat until then. Technically they say don't 
eat anything for 8 to 12 hours. I did get up at like 4 and have a glass of milk because I forgot I had the glucose test this morning. But that was 10 hours ago. Well, not from now. But 10 hours from when the test is supposed to be this afternoon. So fingers crossed that I can still do it because there's not really time to do it next week since all of the options are during my work time. There's a cute puppy snuggling by me. Right now we're waiting for the dishes to finish. And then we'll get going. Well, and laundry too. But then we'll get going to the post office and then to the glucose test. It's supposed to take up to like five hours. So hopefully I can entertain myself for that long. Just sent off my friend's gift at the post office. I am gonna return the drying rack that I got and just ship it straight to her because it was gonna be more hassle than it was worth to ship the drying rack to her now. Which I should have like known that, but I kind of wanted to just ship everything all together since I had some parts that I personally made, but it's fine. I'll just return it, get some cash back for what I paid for it since it's brand new, didn't open anything, and then I'll just order it on like Amazon or something with free shipping. I'm back in like their waiting glucose area thing, um, waiting for the hour. It's been about 20 minutes now so far. The drink actually wasn't too bad, honestly. Although I did chug it, so I don't know if it has a weird aftertaste or anything. <laughs> They didn't give me an option, they just gave me fruit punch, but it was clear. It was like, wasn't red, like fruit punch flavor stuff normally is. Whatever. So, baby Jay is moving around a little bit, probably because he really liked the glucose spike. <laughs> I mean, I'm not feeling as hungry as I was now, but I still would prefer like real food. <laughs> so, we'll see about what I can do with that. I have to go return something and buy something else from Buy My Baby on the way back home. And then we have leftovers from Buffalo Wild Wings last night, so that's nice. I don't think I mentioned how Onward was. It was a very cute movie. If you're into D&D and like role-playing games, you will laugh so hard because there's so many jokes about it. And, I mean, aesthetically, like, wise, it was really pretty, so that was nice. <laughs> I think it was worth seeing the movie theater, but also knowing that I just redid our budget, we probably shouldn't be going on to that many movies anymore, so it's probably going to be the last movie that we see in a while. Although I have, well no, I lied. Last movie that me and my husband see together. I have one more movie today that I had a gift card for, but other than that, no more movies for a while. Glucose test is all done and set. They only had to poke me once, which is great, because sometimes they struggle getting my blood. I usually ask for a butterfly needle as well because it's tinier. <laughs> um, overall, not a bad experience, honestly. I didn't get bored, which is great because I was expecting up to like five hours or something. I think on the website they said it could take possibly up to then. But it was only an hour, so it's fine. So, I'm going to go figure out, uh, finish all the stuff that I was going to do. And then eat leftovers at home and just chill probably the rest of the day. Picked up some groceries and stuff at Target. Not surprised that this whole shelf is empty. We still have a couple rolls left, but we will eventually need actual toilet paper, not just to stock up. It's now leftover Buffalo Wild Wings time. Okay. And someone keeps trying to steal it. Yep. Yeah, let me know. Are you going to shoot? I see you giving it the side eye, kid. I see that. So far, I already had to go get a crack, well not a crack, a ding repaired in my windshield this morning at Safe Light. And then I think I'm going to get together with some church friends tonight. But other than that, my day is pretty free. Goals for today, give the dog a bath, maybe finish up the hallway. And then um, there was something else that I was going to do and I totally forgot now. Now I gotta do some dishes, and then, I always try and put this up honestly, but it never seems to stick whenever I try to put it up, so. Gotta clean out the sink, attempt again to put that up, but it's probably not gonna work. Well there's an RPG. It's the path of puppy destruction. This penguin is not very much longer lived. Mm -hmm.